Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. You get a lot of this time, eh? Yeah. It's probably because they're closer. Oh, yeah, we, we relocated this time. Um, we got some different cooking type things to go on, so rather than move the camera, we're just going to give it a second here. I'm just going to do my share. Hang on. Technical details. She's thick. That's amazing. Okay, which friends can I blame? Once again, thank you. Anita Music. There we go. Is it Anita? Anita? I'm sorry. No. Oh, oh, apparently we're going to have a hold. Turn it off before the sound goes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, hi, everybody. It's a beautiful day, hey? Oh, gorgeous oh, day. Oh, it's boiling out. And nothing says uh, a beautiful Saturday like a shaft. <laughs> Oh yeah. This is, oh, gonna, this is just going to be a real, just a shit show. It totally is. Now yeah. before it becomes a shit show, oh, oh yeah, I guess I can throw it the square. I don't freaking care. Who cares? Is that square? Um, we're, the reason we're doing it in the kitchen is because we're going to obviously drink some shafts, but we're also a uh, lovely Darren Cole from U Shaft U. I will show you a picture, but um, of him dropping the, well, I went and picked this up, but this is a bag full of gourmet food. Um, thinking that I have no clue on how to cook, uh, he thought that this would be infallible, so I take the challenge. What do you think? Yeah. I think we can actually cook this. Yeah. Oh, it looks, it, it looks really impressive, and, and Darren really is an amazing chef, so. Totally is. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we're going to do it justice. Yeah, but first, um, okay. first we have to work a little bit, apparently. So, the chef, um, I started looking this up. Um, as anyone from Victoria will tell you, the shaft was invented in Victoria, except anyone from Calgary will tell you the shaft was invented in Calgary. No. And anyone from Kamloops will tell you it's invented in Kamloops, no. Lake Louise, so on and so forth. <clears throat> um, there is also a shocking number of variations to this thing for such a simple drink. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to start with the Calgary version of it, as I think of it. This is from a bar called The Living Room in Calgary, and um, they sell a huge amount of these things. So first of all, the reason it's called the Shaft, um, it's uh, served, it's a shot, really. The one thing that everyone does agree on is it's meant to be just slammed back, whether you do it with, mostly you do it through a straw, but again, the variations almost outnumber the original drink. So, the living room version, it's a tall glass, uh, so we're using a Collins glass. It's, um, and, sorry, I got sidetracked. The whole name Shaft is after the, uh, what's the guy's name, Richard Roundtree, I think, in the 70s made a movie called Shaft. Like a yeah, Isaac yeah. Isaac Hayes did the song. It was it was for all us old people. You know, you remember the shaft. <laughs> anyway, right. um, so the idea is is that this drink, like the character, is tall, dark, cool, and packs a punch. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, when you melt this, you put ice in a Collins glass. Now I'm going to do another little aside. You either use cold brew coffee or espresso with this. Um, cold brew coffee is not brew coffee that you let go cold. Uh, cold brew, brew uh, as I learned this week, is a whole process where you extract the um, actual coffee from the coffee beans by soaking it in cold water for a long period of time, 15 to 24 hours is what they recommend. Oh. probably having a tough time hearing us. Oh. All right. No worries. Can you guys hear me? Uh, well, it's That's not pushed in all the way. What's that? It's not pushed in all the way. Oh. It is now. We need, we need a sound. Unless you move the camera to my head. <laughs> Details. There we go. That better? 
Yeah. Okay. You know, we should probably start drinking for this. It probably at least we'd have an excuse for being totally incompetent. Well, this is the thing. Like we were talking about that today. We we really you know tampered our day drinking on Saturdays, right? So that's yeah, good. yeah, and it's throwing us. It's just totally throwing us right off. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jan says better. Hey, Rosie. <laughs> hey. And hi, Jan. Good to see you uh, virtually. Yeah. Jan's had a few beers. That away. <laughs> Make up for the rest of us, Janice. Um, so if you have one of these, uh, our good friends Chris and Yu Ting gave us this. This is a French press. Making your own cold brewed coffee is easy. You put, for every cup of water you're going to use, you put an ounce of coarsely ground coffee in. You put, so if you use two ounces, you use two cups of cold water, put it in the fridge overnight. Uh, the plunger, you just plunge, plunge it down, it separates the liquid from the grounds, and you have cold brew, which I have right here. If you don't feel like doing that, or if you don't have a French press, or you just don't, or you just prefer espresso, uh, you can buy espresso shots. I think uh, Starbucks sells them like in grocery stores and stuff. Plus, there's any number of pla places. This is New Orleans style nitro cold brew. Cool. Nitro, uh, they inject nitrogen in it makes tiny little bubbles so it foams oh. it's it's a it's a textural thing i guess so the shaft is gonna foam <laughs> yes <Okay>. exactly <laughs> just making sure all right so we're gonna use um the difference between the cold brew and the espresso believe it or not the cold brew has more caffeine in it uh it's supposed to be more um bold um, and sort of full-bodied than espresso. I'm not sure. We're going to use cold brew, though. You can use espresso, though. Um, anyway, back to the Calgary version of all this. We build it right in the glass. It's going to be a Cullen's glass. You're putting a shot of coffee? Good, Shelly. Happy birthday, Shelly. Happy birthday to yeah, Shelly. Oh, yeah, and she's having a shaft right now. Having a drink, are you? Hopefully, that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not good for you for multitasking. <laughs> My condolences to whoever it is who is supplying the shaft. Anyway, um, this is this is the simplest version. I forgot the Kahlua. Would you mind grabbing me yeah, a Kahlua? Yeah, okay. This one only has three ingredients. It has three ounces of either espresso or cold brew. It has an ounce and a half of Kahlua, or really any coffee liqueur, as long as it is brown. Is brown important? Well, we want it to be All right, tall. tall, dark, cool. And, I don't understand this part of the recipe. It calls for skim milk. Whatever. Why? I don't know. Yeah. So this is the only one that I'm really going to be making true to form. Okay. Like I said, this is this is meant to be um, an oversized shooter. You're supposed to blast it back as quickly as you can. Okay. That's an awful lot of shaft to get in your mouth. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sue's going to try anyway. All right. Let's just give this a whirl. All right. This is a skim milk one, right? Yeah. So it keeps the... Uh, that's really good. It keeps the color that's supposedly the uh, requisite here. Let me try. Nice. I wish I could see because I'm blind as a bat, but I'll read that after. Um... It's yeah. good. It's not bad, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. So that's what I sort of think of as a Calgary style. Now, um, like I said, many of the Victoria folks uh, believe that it is made here. And so I went and kind of did an online survey of the different styles of shaft that you can get here. And, and I looked up places like uh, Little Jumbo, Veneto, uh, Clives, um, and the difference is is that we have gone away from the dark brown drink 
Uh, plus, we have the addition of Bailey's, which I have also left over there. Because I'm a moron. That's okay. Which is. Bailey's is the one with the word Bailey's on the list. I'm gonna hear about I'm gonna hear about that one later. Okay, fine. Here you go. All right. So the Victoria style. Oh, before we leave that, um, Char um, had asked about a vegan version of this. Now, if you like that one, it would be real easy to switch to vegan by instead of using the skim milk, using uh, some sort of uh, alternate beverage. So this is coconut cream and almond. Okay. So that would be a vegan option to make that into a vegan shaft. Mm. Uh, and it's actually pretty delicious. So moving on to the Victoria style shaft, as I have called it. Oh, so this is like, so our friends that love shafts are, um, uh, Kim, Kim and Shelly. Kim right? and Shelly. So, yes. So this is the one that Shelly and Kim typically. That one. This one or that one? This one. one I don't know. Oh, I, I guess I'll I find just, out. I don't let know. Yeah. <laughs> let me know if. Let me know which one closest. You know, most closely conforms to what you're used to having. Mm -hmm. And again, there are variations. Every single bar does it slightly differently. It would seem. This one's really good. Anyway. It's getting empty though. So just to change it up, we're going to use the cold brew out of a can this time. Frothy? <laughs> yeah. Well, you try you it. You want me to try it? Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, it's kind of warm. It tastes like water. Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah. We're going to go back to, hopefully I have enough here. Okay. Um, so... This version, we're going to use two ounces of the black stuff. Oh and again, this is the cold brew that was homemade. It's, it's really quite delicious. Super easy, too. Trying to remember what to put in it? No. Oh. Uh, vodka. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't put vodka in that one. Oh. Oh, well. It's really good though. Okay, so we've got vodka, we've got. We've got the cold brew, we've got the vodka. Mm -hmm. We use a whole ounce of Irish cream in this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Doesn't have to be Bailey's, it can be. Carolyn. Carolyn's. Whichever you like. And half ounce of Kahlua. Oh, he's just Let's put some vodka in that one and see how. That's the way it's supposed to be. You just dumped vodka in my drink. The shaft is essentially, it's kind of a cross between an, an espresso martini. Mm -hmm. I almost said espresso. An espresso martini mm. and a black Russian. Yeah, can't really taste vodka, but it's good. Yeah, well, that's the idea. So this one, we're going to do a different style. Um, we're going to serve it. None of them, nobody really seems to serve these in a cocktail glass. Okay. Um, so, they had a tall one. We're going to use an old fashioned glass. But we're going to strain it. Uh, where's the old fashioned glass? Oh, we've got it in the freezer. Very yeah. good. You know the deal. Keep everything as cold as you can. Yep, yep. So, we're going to strain this off. Now, I think. I think this is almost in recognition of the fact that even though this is all supposed to be a shot, half the people that order them don't shoot them. So we're starting to see cocktails that are a little more dressed up. Mm -hmm. So that one, we've done it uh, without the ice. We have garnished it with a few coffee beans. Mm -hmm. Um, wow, it looks like a little milkshake. This and, isn't, yeah. This and it's a much impressive. blonder version yeah. of uh, the one that Calgary claims for its 
Oh, now this is better. This is a true shaft. Is this it? is yeah, you know, this is way better. It's kind of like what you had in the cruise ship there, Shelly. <laughs> she kept going back to the coffee bistro lady. It wasn't even the bar making shafts. And I can't remember what she said to her the last time. You've got to be kidding me. Get away. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, it's like a milkshake. Oh, it's delicious. And what made it all frothy? Just the fact that you're shaking it? Shake, shaking it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want your shaft to be all frothy, you got to, you know, do a lot of that. <laughs> you, you wonder why I forget stuff, right? <laughs> I didn't. That's good. You could shoot that if you wanted to. Quite yeah. easily. So. This one's really yummy. So while I was looking around for different variations, uh, I came across one that, uh, I, to me, it's, it's my all-time favorite. I, I actually, actually love this thing. So what this next one does, let me go back to the uh, ice cube there. Different shaker. This one substitutes bourbon and for the vodka. Mm. This one is more complicated. It also uses um, the cream instead of milk. So we're going to use, you, you can adjust the, uh, the richness of it by adjusting the cream. Some recipes call for table cream, as you saw one of them called for skim milk. You can go anywhere from skim milk to whipping cream depending on how thick and rich and frothy you want it to be. So, yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Think about how sh how thick you want your shaft. <laughs> it's good, yeah. And uh, plan accordingly, okay? Yep. So, Jesus Christ. You know we're going to hell, right? Oh, yeah, whatever. Okay, so um, that was, I don't, I don't even know what I've put in here so far. Cream, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One ounce cream. In this case, it's table cream. We're going to go a full ounce and a half of bourbon. Wow. Mm. Then we're going to add one that wasn't there before. We're going to put triple sec in. Only a half ounce of that. Mm -hmm. We're going to go a half ounce of maple syrup. Oh, boy. Yeah, like I said, it's more complicated, but trust me, folks, this is worth it. Wow. And we're going to go a full two and a half ounces, hopefully I have it here, of cold brew. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, this is... This, this will make, like, a drink and a half or two drinks, depending on how much ice you have on it. <laughs> Oh, I'm already. I can't read it. Oh, you're having too much fun. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yes, we, we are last. And we haven't even started drinking yet. Well, yeah. apparently I have. But that's okay. I'm going to come down there last and make a bunch of these Canadian drinks. Yeah. Bring the tomato juice with me. Seems it was also made in Calgary, by the way. Now this one, we're gonna we're gonna serve this on ice. So we'll just leave uh, leave the ice cubes in it. Okay. We're gonna go kind of backwards, funky with the glassware here. We're gonna use a mason jar with a handle on it. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna throw your beets in the boiling water. No, good idea. <laughs> Here's some braised beef. Look at this. This is gonna be something really nifty looking. This is from Darren. All right. So I think I got it going right. There's a lot, bunch of little bubbles and it's not boiling. Timer. Six minutes. And this one, so apparently there is, I didn't know if this was a shaft or not. The, pl the thing on the internet that I looked at didn't really give it a name. There is a place in town though called Wheelie's Motorcycle Cafe. 
I think it is. Oh yeah. Uh, and apparently they make they make a shaft that it would seem resembles this, oh. and they call it the drive shaft, which is cool. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, if you really feel like garnishing it, a little twist of orange peel to pick up on the orange from the triple sec. Yeah, to me that's just... Mm. Okay, it's got bourbon in it, so as we know, that's not necessarily my favorite. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Even if, even though it has bourbon in it, it's got that kind of orangey too. That orange really helps. Yeah, it, so to me it tastes like a... Um, kind of a creamy version of... Uh, if. <laughs> you cut it out. <laughs> you always say creamy. <laughs> well, it is creamy. Look at it. Look how creamy it is. It's very creamy. Yeah, it's creamy. Very really creamy. Mm -hmm. um, a Spanish coffee. If you were to, mm -hmm. if you were to ice up a Spanish coffee. Mm -hmm. um, and speaking of which, if you want to get fancy with these, you can always put some whipped cream in it. So, last but not least. While Sue is doing whatever it is that she is doing, making us some delicious food. I'm making you a gourmet food. dinner. This is me cooking. Yes, making it. So far, I'm able to do this, so this is pretty good, I tell you. Until I have to actually take the stuff out of the bag. Okay, what does she say? I'm trying to join. See if we can all say cheers. Okay, give us about one more second, Shelly. I'm going to tell you what to do. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to join to say cheers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll give you one, one more minute. So, just as a uh, little side note here, um, if we want to go non-alcoholic with this, uh, rather than just have just a straight iced coffee, so what actually works pretty good, and I hate to admit this. You put some ice in a glass, you put your cold brew in, and then Bailey's coffee creamer. Ah, oh, believe that's it or not. Easy. It it kind of is easy and it's a little bit sort of embarrassingly low tech, I guess you'd call it. Yeah, but that's like uh... But you you're just gonna sort of sprinkle it around the outside and then you get that you get that marbled look. Mm. Well, that's cool. That's super easy. You put a few coffee beans in. Okay. Have a taste of that. Getting kind of full. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, I no, no, not loving that. Not loving that. Mm -mm. No, not after the creamy stuff, right? Because it's so, it's so yummy. Yeah, so not quite the same. So this is this is very coffee forward because there's really nothing to cut it. Um, all the other shafts have the Kahlua thing. So if it's depending, on, I guess, on how you take your coffee normally, if you like it sweeter, you can add some maple syrup. And again, this is all a matter of personal preference. And you can add some some cream to it. Do we want to say hi to Shelly? Of course. Try that though first. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm over in the sideways over here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try something. We are messing with technology. This will probably go horribly wrong. Yeah. Okay, Shelly, are you there? I have approved you. She should get something. You're gonna get something, something. All right, try again. <laughs> okay, now I think it's over in Shelly's court. You gotta try again, darling, because I approved you wanting to join. But if you don't, that's fine too. I'll be over here drinking. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and we're one minute away from an absolute gourmet dinner. So this is gonna be crazy. I didn't include the, um, mm. I didn't include the shrimp though. I think Shelly's off drinking more shafts, so do whatever she's doing. Uh, if you want to come in, darling, just come on back. All right. <laughs>
So I have a couple of plates. Where can I see them? I've got a I'm just going to drink up a storm, right? You like that old brandy thing? All right? Bourbon. Or burrito, whatever. Okay, let's look, have a look at this stuff. It says the guest declined the video. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's already done. That's what she's trying to say. That's okay. Okay, so. <clears throat> so if this doesn't um, happen uh, for Shelly, whose birthday it recently was, and your friends who uh, are... Where do I put the bag? <laughs> I need to put... I need who to may plate. be celebrating with you in a... <laughs> in a uh, can, can, can you grab me a plate? <clears throat> so, Darren, this might be super easy, but uh, I'm trying to join in. Okay, so here we go. I got a bag, and apparently I got to cut something. Cut the bag open. So, oh, this is, this is making me uncomfortable. For <laughs> I got your bag. I'm cutting it over. All right, try. Okay, can you? Okay, if it, I'll I'll show you what to do. Try and do whatever you did again. And I think if you just went into the here, I'm gonna do it. Can you cut the bag? You cut your bag. <laughs> this is what happens when we try. Okay, and just. Take the contents of your bag and <laughs> smoosh it all over the plates. It's pretending you're Chef Ramsay. Okay, we can do this. I'm pretty sure Chef Ramsay doesn't. Doesn't what? Actually, this does look pretty amazing. Does it? Well, I don't know, Shelly. We'll figure it out another time. You know what you should do is take a cheers and then... Um, Post it in the comments after, and then we'll figure it out. Oh, what have you done? Oh, okay. All right, so now we're smushing it. Okay, we're just going to smush it, pretending we're Chef Ramsay. Okay, Darren, I'm, I, I apologize. I think I'm, I'm crucifying this poor thing. Oh, my Lord. Okay, that's that because, oh, I'm sure it tastes absolutely black. All right, what next? Oh, we have a beef. Where's the beef? Okay, we got some beef, another bag. Great fun. <laughs> you only have to put up a paper for another minute. Hang on. We're going to get this because this is our dinner. Uh, all right. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the meat. Ah, oh, Jesus, it's hot. And. Who'd have thought? <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. Okay. Then there's a sauce. Mm. All right. Looks amazing. This is amazing. I can do this. You keep drinking. Oh, I plan to. Um, anyway, so like I was saying, um, Shelly, happy birthday. And uh, so cheers to you uh, and any of your friends who may be appropriately distanced celebrating with you. And also to Kim, who's, uh, this is also her signature drink. Yeah, so Shaft Queen. And if you're the music The artist. Shaft <laughs> I'm sure she loves that. The Shaft Queen. Yeah. You hear that, Kim? You're the Shaft Queen. <laughs> and then talk to him about the music. Yeah, we, um, we're we having some download issues. Um, there's a local artist um, named Jasmine, who is currently in a project called Craving Rain. Uh, and she is an amazing vocalist. Uh, so... We were having some problems downloading the music, and I kind of didn't manage to get it together quite in time. So we will be featuring her probably, uh, hopefully next week. Uh, she also does have two projects. Uh, her current one, I think, is Craving Rain. And if I understand right, um, the one that she had before this was uh, more a harder rock kind of thing. So we're going to split it into two. I don't know if I'm putting the right sauce on, Darren, so apologies. And I still have like these, what I didn't cook up, sorry about that, um, is the shrimp. Oh, and this, Char, this is for you. This is vegan ravioli. Amazing, hey? Okay, come on, please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, okay, look at this. Look at that. I am a chef. Do you want to try it? Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, this is crazy. So, and then we've got, look at this. Oh my god, prawns, sauces. All right, 
You give it a roll. Yeah. Okay. That's oh, probably his stomach. Okay. Probably some hate mail. <laughs> no, not at all. All right. Let us know. John's a taste tester. All right. Yeah, what? Right? Vegan ravioli. Yeah, looks amazing, oh. hey? Oh, that was so good. Is it? I'm going to try yours. Okay. Again, Darren, thank oh you so God. much. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's next level. Wow. Okay. So that's uh, you, Chef You. Mm -hmm. That's Y O U, Chef Y O U, right? Yeah, we'll throw a little link in the thing. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll give you a link. That is fantastic. So we've got shafts. So we're all set. <laughs> Three different kinds of shafts, which is just made for my night. And uh, <laughs> got a gourmet meal. I mean, what more could we ask for? And chef Oh, sorry about that, you guys. Our internet crashed. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, frozen. We're good now. And luckily, this is going to allow us to save it. So John's over there eating up a storm. Thanks, everyone. And we'll see you next week for... What are we doing next week? Oh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone.